Hey folks, if you have gone from BlackBerry 10 to BlackBerry Android, I know there's been some frustrations. Uh, a lot of us have shared the same frustrations. The lack of the BlackBerry 10 gestures, the lack of blend, the lack of the BlackBerry file manager. Now, I can't help with blend, and I can't help with the gestures, but I can tell you my solution for the file manager. So this is UTB Brad from UTB Blogs, and I'm talking Android file managers. Okay, so let's get this out in the open first. I love the BlackBerry 10 file manager. It's a great app. It has an intuitive interface. It does exactly what I want it to do, exactly how I want it to do it. There's a huge problem with the app though, and that it doesn't exist on the Android BlackBerry. And I miss it. And it's, I spent a fair amount of time looking for a solution that would allow me to do what I wanted to do in a, in a good format. And I think I found it. But there's an issue with that solution, and that solution is that I'm using two apps. Uh, yes, I'm using two different Android apps to give me the functionality that I got on the BlackBerry 10 file manager. Now, I'll be honest, I'm using two apps, and I am getting a little extra functionality than what I did get on the BlackBerry 10 file manager. But the thing is, I'm using twice as many apps, and I'm not getting twice as much functionality. So you kind of have to weigh it out, what's important to you. And this works for me. As I said, I'm using two apps, so I'm going to tell you about both of them right now. The first app I use, and this is my go-to file manager app, it's simply called File Manager. And you can find it in the Google Play Store by searching file manager and it is the file manager that's produced by Asus. It's the Asus file manager but it's just called file manager. Now this app is nice. It's really nice. It does what you want it to, how you want it to, you to do it. It's got a good UI. Um, let's see, the, home, the file manager homepage breaks everything up by file type. It will even send you alerts when it thinks that the files that you've recently installed seem to be taking up too much space. Um, you could add different cloud accounts to the service, anything from Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, and you can also use it to manage files between other network connected devices. Uh, the app has one function that I absolutely love, and it is a PC file transfer. You start the service on your app and you punch in the IP address the app gives you into your computer's browser and then you can just go through your browser and you can move files back and forth between your computer and the phone. It is ridiculously nice. I use this function all the time. In fact, I use that function, I used to have a different app before I discovered that the Asus file manager could do it, I used to use File Commander just for that function. And that function works exactly the same between both those apps. The difference is File Commander's UI, I don't like it. It's ugly and I just don't care for it. The Asus file manager is much more user friendly, it's much more attractive, and there's also a big win. The Asus file manager is free and they don't hammer you with advertisements and they're not constantly trying to get you to purchase the premium version of the app, which File Commander does. Now, I mean, if you like File Commander and you want that, just buy the app. You won't have to deal with all that stuff. But I didn't care for the app enough to want to spend money on it. And I found a much better app in the Asus File Manager. But it is missing something. Even though you can transfer files back and forth between your computer and your phone, it's not like the remote file access that we were used to having on BlackBerry 10. And that is a nice function. And it, I'm not somebody that likes to give up functionality. I want my functionality. And so just a clean sweep from the BlackBerry 10 file manager to the Asus file manager wasn't good enough for me.
I did find another app though, and this is made by another computer maker. This is made by Acer, and it's called AB Files. Now, AB Files gives you that remote file access almost exactly like what we're used to on the BlackBerry 10 File Manager. It's a two-part app. You install the app on your phone, and you install the app on your computer. And you can jump in and you can do everything that you're used to doing with the BlackBerry 10 remote file access, you can do with this. You can also do it with more than one device. You can have multiple computers, tablets, phones. It's a really nice option. And one thing that you will notice when you start using it, it's fast. It's blazing fast. So I have the AB Files app just for remote file access. So I've got one app that I use for a file manager. I've got another app that I use for remote file access. Is that something that you really want to do? I mean, honestly, that's part of the problem that a lot of BlackBerry 10 users have with Android. It's not a case of, well, there's an app for that. It's a case of, there's too many apps for that. And it really can be an issue when you're trying to find that great app. I know I went through a ton of file manager apps. Absolutely a ton. And when a bunch of us had jumped from BlackBerry 10 to BlackBerry Android, or even just had that as a secondary device, we all discussed what file managers we were using. And we all tried different ones. I'll be honest, I've got a great solution right now, and I've got a solution that I really think gives me a little more functionality than the BlackBerry 10 File Manager. But I want BlackBerry to bring that File Manager to BlackBerry Android. Honestly, BlackBerry 10 wins over BlackBerry Android when it comes to File Manager. And yes, the BlackBerry Android just doesn't come with the File Manager. You have to find your own, that's a problem. And then the problem is going through the several apps and finding one that works for you and realizing that even when you've got something that works for you, you still miss that BlackBerry 10 file manager. So chalk this one up for BlackBerry 10. I gave you my solution. I'm sure if you're using a BlackBerry Android device, you're probably using different apps than I am. Let me know what you're using. Hit the comments. Tell me, maybe you have something that works better than I do. Let me know, and we'll look at it next time.